Hi YouTube. Today we're going to create this cool plastic cup artwork. If you're new here make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. Let's get started, first get rid of our fill color. Now go to stroke points and add something like 20 points. Now go to the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle like this. Align this path to the center by using a line panel. Now grab the direct selection tool for this next part. Now select this right bottom corner point using this tool. Now hold that point and drag the point towards center. Now grab the rectangle tool again and draw a square. Right path of that rectangle should cross the center of our first path like this. Now select both paths go to the pathfinder tool and click on minus front command. Now get a copy of this path. You can do that by dragging on the path while holding the alter option key. Now select that path and go to objects, transform, and then reflect command. Now this windows will appear. Check these setting and hit ok when you're done. Now we have a mirror of our original path. Now move that path like overlapping paths like this. Now select all the paths and go to pathfinder tool and click on unite command. Now you can see this is a one object. Now go the rectangle tool again and create one on top of our first object like this. Select both paths and align to the center again. Now go to the ellipse tool. Create a circle like this, center of that circle should be on the center of our upper rectangle. Grab the selection tool and drag on the upper path of our circle while holding the alter option key so the center doesn't change. Now go to the shape builder tool. Select all the paths while holding the control key. Drag across these paths to combine them. Now we have these separate paths of our artwork. Ctrl Z to undo any move. Now get a copy of this bottom path. Shortcuts are Ctrl C then Ctrl F. Now select one of copies, hold alter option key and drag on a an anchor point to resize this path. Now select the direct selection tool and drag down this bottom line because there is more gap in that area. Now grab the pen tool and draw a path like this. Make sure that there is no fill color of your path. Now select this middle path and this new path, go to the pathfinder tool and click on minus front command. Now we have this water shape. You can adjust this however you like. Now select this upper rectangle, and go to the direct selection tool. Now you can see there is these dots on that rectangle. Those control the curve of the corners of that path. Drag on that point towards center to adjust the corner. Now select the bottom bigger path. Grab the direct selection tool again. Only select this bottom anchor points and adjust the curve of that points. Now select the rectangle tool again and create a small one like this. Adjust the curve of corners in that one as well. Now grab the ellipse tool and draw random circles like this, hold shift key and alter option key while you're doing that. Now change the stroke points as 10 points. Grab the ellipse tool again and create some different size circles on this path as well. Adjust the size of that circles however you like. Now grab the pen tool and draw a line parallel to this left line in this smaller path. Draw some lines like this. Select these three lines and change the stroke points as 20 points. Now select that lines again. Go to objects, then click on expand, 
then click on OK. Zoom a little. Shortcut is C now select this path and grab the direct selection tool. Adjust the curve of corners in these paths as well. Now select the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this. Move that path to middle of our artwork. Rotate that path to the left little bit. I'm gonna adjust the height of this one little bit. Now select this middle rectangle and expand it. Now you know how to do it. Grab the rectangle tool and draw a bigger one and a smaller one like this. Select that rectangles and get a copy. Shortcuts and Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Select one of the copies and this middle rectangle and go to the Pathfinder tool and click on minus front command. Select this rectangle and expand it as well. Now select the other copy of that rectangles and select the this path while holding the shift key and click on minus front command again. Now adjust the curve of this paths as well. Now you have a pretty good idea how to do that. There is two paths in that area. So delete one path and the curved one will appear on your screen. To do that right click on that path and click on ungroup. Then select the path using selection tool and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now let's add some colors to our artwork. Select this middle path, go to your swatches, add a blue color like this. Color codes will appear on the screen. Add the same color to this path as well. You can add colors one by one or you can select all the paths you want then add the color. Now get rid of strokes of these paths that we added colors. To do that you just have to select the path and click on this red crossed icon. Now add a lighter blue color to this path so it looks like in the water. Now add the previous darker blue color to this outline path. You can use eyedropper tool to add colors easily. Add the same color to this path as well. We forgot to expand this path. That's why the color in the fill of this path. But no problem. To fix that, select the path and click on this two arrow key then make the stroke points as 20 points. Now it fixed. For these lines add white color. For this long one add light pink color, it's our straw. Move this bottom circles however you like to look great in our artwork. Make this as a curved corner path as well. Right click on this path go to arrange and hit on bring to front command. This is our final art. If you guys like the video, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more great content. See you guys in my next tutorial.